In this lesson, we're going to show you how to reset your preferences in Final Cut Pro and also how to start a new project. First, double click on your Macintosh hard drive and then go to the little house on your sidebar and then go to the library and navigate to the preferences folder. And if you can't read the window, just spread the column out and there's two files you want to put in the trash. One is called the com.apple.finalcutpro.plist. Put that in the trash and then also scroll down to the Final Cut Pro user data folder and open that up and put the Final Cut Pro 7.0 prefs in the trash. Then you can close out your finder window and you can boot up the Final Cut Pro application. And then the Choose Setup window appears. Here you can choose your video format, frame rate, compression, and also where to put your media when you log in capture or log in transfer. The format will depend on which camera you shot your video footage on. The same thing goes for the frame rate and the compression settings. Though it looks a little confusing, one can easily find out this information by looking at the manual for their camera and in the internal menu settings of the camera to see what format they are shooting at, then set the settings here appropriately. We will leave the settings at the default, which is all formats, all frame rates, and DV and TSC. Now we're going to choose our primary scratch disk. This is where Final Cut Pro will store your converted or captured media when using the login capture or the login transfer window. When I drop this menu down, I can see all the available drives on my computer. I can then choose a drive to be my primary scratch disk and Final Cut Pro will put all my media that is captured or converted into this drive. I'm going to choose a second internal drive on my computer named Internal Drive 500. I will now click OK and the external AV window appears. This just means that Final Cut Pro cannot find an external FireWire deck connected to your computer. If you have one and you need to use it, you would make sure it's connected and on and hit check again until the software boots up. If your media has already been converted or has already been captured, you can just hit continue. Final Cut Pro will then boot up with an untitled Project 1 tab in the browser window. The first thing you want to do is give this project a name and save it somewhere in your computer. You're going to go to File on the top menu, Save Project As. The Save window comes up. You're going to give the project a name. And in order to save it where you want it, uh, sometimes you can't use the drop down menu on the bottom. So it's better to open up the top arrow to the right of the name. And that allows you to navigate through the computer wherever you want and also to make folders. Here we're going to navigate to the same drive the media is going to and make a new folder in it. And we're going to call it FCP Projects. And we're going to save our project file in there. Now you notice the name changes in the tab in the browser window to the project name. Now we're ready to bring media into our project. Now just to show you where the files were made, if we go to the finder window and go to the drive where we made the folders, if we look into the FCP projects file folder, there is your project file. This is the file you'd want to double click on when opening that project in Final Cut Pro. And if we go to the Final Cut Pro Documents folder, there are the folders that Final Cut Pro made when you chose the disk as a primary scratch disk. We are now ready to start our project and bring media into our browser.